UK Foreign Secretary David Lammy has compared Russian President Vladimir Putin to Joseph Stalin and Catherine the Great during a joint press conference with his US and Ukrainian counterparts in Kiev on Wednesday. Lammy said that while no act of authoritarianism is ever exactly the same, Putin shares the same arrogance, the same greed, the same disdain for the rights of other individuals and nations, as Stalin and Catherine the Great. This is imperialism. This is fascism, Lamy added. The US and Britain formally accused Tehran on Tuesday of supplying short-range ballistic missiles to Moscow, with France and Germany joining them in announcing new sanctions against Iran and Russia, calling the missile transfers a direct threat to European security. Iran's foreign ministry denied the accusations, according to the semi-official ISNA news agency. The penalties include the cancellation of air services agreements with Iran, which will restrict Iran Air's ability to fly to the UK and Europe. This response is in keeping with our commitment to remain Ukraine's staunchest friend, said Lamy of the sanctions. The rare joint visit by the British and American top diplomats was, unusually, announced in advance, a public signal of U.S. U.K. support for Ukraine ahead of what's likely to be a brutal winter of Russian attacks. Russian airstrikes, mostly aimed at crippling Ukraine's energy infrastructure, have intensified in recent weeks with nightly missile and drone strikes. Wednesday's visit comes ahead of British Prime Minister Keir Starmer's upcoming trip to Washington, where he will meet President Joe Biden at the White House on Friday. Ukraine's request for permission to strike Russian targets is due to feature in the discussion. Biden has allowed Ukraine to fire US-provided missiles across the border into Russia in self-defense but largely limited the distance over concerns about further escalating the conflict. No act of authoritarianism is ever exactly the same. But 80 years after Stalin deported the Crimean Tatars, 240 years after Catherine the Great annexed Crimea, Putin has revealed the same arrogance, the same greed, the same disdain for the rights of other individuals and nations. This is imperialism, this is fascism, and this week we have rem been reminded of how other authoritarian regimes are aiding Putin, with Iran going even further in support for Moscow by providing ballistic missiles, a significant and dangerous escalation. Britain and the US and our partners have responded quickly to Tehran's undermining of global security. Britain has sanctioned Iranian officials and entities, as well as Russian entities and cargo ships involved in the transfer of weapons. And together we've restricted Iran's air flights to Europe. This response is in keeping with our commitment to remain Ukraine's staunchest friend. Kamala Harris pushed back on Donald Trump's national security credentials as the two leaders met face-to-face -face for the first time on a debate stage in Philadelphia Tuesday. The matchup marked a pivotal moment during the final sprint of a close race for the White House and saw Trump and Harris lay out starkly different visions for the future of America. It is very well known that Donald Trump is weak and wrong on national security and foreign policy. It is well known that he admires dictators, wants to be a dictator on day one, according to himself, Harris said in a fiery exchange with her Republican rival. Look at what's going on in the Middle East. This would have never happened. I will get that settled and fast, and I'll get the war with Ukraine and Russia ended. If I'm president-elect, I'll get it done before even becoming president. Vice President Harris, he says you hate Israel. Uh, oh, that's absolutely not true. I have my entire career and life supported Israel and the Israeli people. He knows that. He's trying to, again, divide and, and distract from the reality, which is it is very well known 
that Donald Trump is weak and wrong on national security and foreign policy. It is well known that he admires dictators, wants to be a dictator on day one, according to himself. It is well known that he said of Putin that he can do whatever the hell he wants and go into Ukraine. It is well known that he said when Russia went into Ukraine, it was brilliant. It is well known he exchanged love letters with Kim Jong-un. And it is absolutely well known that these dictators and autocrats are rooting for you to be president again because they're so clear. They can manipulate you with flattery and favors. And that is why so many military leaders who you have worked with have told me you are a disgrace. That is why we understand that we have to have a president who is not consistently weak and wrong on Vice national president security, Harris. including the importance of upholding and respecting in highest regard our military. Vice President Harris, thank you. And she's the one that caused it that's weak on national security by allowing every nation last month for the year, 168 different countries sending people into our country. Their crime weights are way down. Putin endorsed her last week, said, I hope she wins. And I think he meant it because what he's gotten away with is absolutely incredible. It wouldn't have happened with me. The leaders of other countries think that they're weak and incompetent, and they are. They're grossly incompetent. And I just ask one question. Why does Biden go in and kill the Keystone Pipeline and approve the single biggest deal that Russia's ever made, Nord Stream 2, the biggest pipeline anywhere in the world going to Germany and all over Europe, because they're weak and they're ineffective.